Yeah. And what I love is that we're looking for uh, life on some of these moons because of something we discovered right here on Earth. So about 20, 30 years ago, we started traveling to the deepest parts of the ocean. And the deepest part of the ocean on Earth is the Mariana Trench. And that sits 11 kilometers below sea level. Now, when we got there, we were aware that, you know, light from the sun doesn't penetrate down here. And so we didn't think there could be any sort of ecosystem that could survive down there. But when we got down there, we realized that there were these thermal vents, heat energy that we were talking about, escaping from the center of the Earth, and it's powering these thermal vents. And where they thought there could be no signs of life, this is what we saw. No, uh, we actually saw life. But yet, can you tell us a bit about this life? So there's no sunlight, right? We are seeing images here because we took lights with us, right? So the submersibles went down and they shone lights on these things. And so look, most things don't have color because there's no point in having color if you can't see anything, right? But um, they do have energy. So where we get sunlight on the surface, the energy here is coming from the core of the Earth through these little vents. And that's what's powering that life. That's that energy source. So I think we also got some information from a, a, um, a spacecraft called Galileo. Yeah, so Galileo went around and it, it took these amazing images of Europa and it gave us that first idea of what could be going on. And we know that Europa is sitting so close to Jupiter. Jupiter is enormous. It's got a massive gravitational field. And that's the source of energy on Europa. 